लेट अस स्टडी मैस्टिकेशन एंड डिग्लूटेशन मैस्टिकेशन दैट मींस इनटेक ऑफ फूड कन्वर्टिंग इट इनटू अ फूड बोलस एंड डिग्लूटेशन दैट मींस नॉट लेटिंग इट गो इनटू द नो नेजो फेरिंग्स नॉट लेटिंग इट गो इनटू द लैरिंग्स एंड मेकिंग इट गो ओनली इन द laryngo pharynx and into the esophagus so that is deglutition and mastication so here you see the tongue this is the tongue this is the palate and the tongue can be pulled forward by the genioglossus downward by the hyoglossus upward by the palatoglossus and backward by the styloglossus so the tongue can move in all four ways and as the food gets inside the this is food intake mouth opens and mouth opens by the action of the lateral pterygoid pulling the neck of the mandible forward so the jaw opens now once the food is inside the tongue will move the food bit from between the teeth into the vestibule of mouth between the cheek and the teeth and the cheek buccinator will move it inside and therefore the tongue in the cheek will keep the food between the teeth and then the lower jaw will move up and down and side to side to grind the food into small particles the salivary glands which are the parotid will pull put saliva in the vestibule and the sublingual and submandibular glands into the mouth itself and therefore this food will become grinded and mixed and will form a bolus this process is called as mastication so lower jaw opens by lateral pterygoid lower jaw closes by the temporalis muscle and it moves lateral and medial by the masseter pulling the the ramus of the mandible out and the medial pterygoid pulling it in so the masseter and the medial pterygoid of both sides pro- produce the side of side to side movement of the lower jaw and therefore the opening closing and side to side movement grinds the food and this is called as mastication the salivary glands pour saliva so that the food is crushed and converted to bolus now the tongue moves backwards by the muscle styloglossus and upward by the muscle palatoglossus palatoglossus and thus the bolus is squeezed between the tongue and the palate and it starts moving forward now this bolus should not go into the nasopharynx so the palate rises by the levator palatine muscle and shuts against a ridge which is formed by the superior constrictor which is called as the passavent ridge so the food can now not go into the nose nose or nasopharynx and the second thing to happen is that this food bolus comes to lie on top of the epiglottis in a space which is called as vallicula and this shuts the epiglottis down so as this epiglottis is t- shut down the food cannot go into the larynx so neither the food can go into the nose nor in the larynx and it goes into the space of the pharynx behind the larynx which is called as laryngopharynx which leads to the 
esophagus and the larynx would now lead to the trachea so this will be the trachea and this will become the esophagus this is the process of mastication and deglutition and i hope you enjoyed it